Yo, what's up guys? My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to two challenges that are going to be taking place in Paris. That's called That Sick Drop and Watch Your Step challenges. So these two challenges can be both done at the same time, so that's what I thought I'd put both, do them both at the same time in the same run, because they both get triggered at the same point. So we're going to start with the default loadout, start with the red carpet with the pistol and the coin and the fly boy. If you've missed any challenges that I've covered so far, I'll leave a drop down card on the screen right now and a link at the end of the credits at the end of the video. So from the start, what we need to do is make our way down into the basement. We need to go and get ourselves a nice waiter to disguise because we're going to go and poison some food. We need to get rid of uh, Novikov's guard because he has a mobile phone on him and we're going to need that to create the uh, the lockdown. You used to be able to, you know, you used to have to go into this basement down here and look at some documents to have a look at the evacuation protocol, but you don't need to do that anymore. You can go straight to doing what you can doing what you can so we're gonna go straight into the locker room now put this waiter's disguise on and we're gonna make our way through the basement area and we need to grab ourselves some rat poison so on your second left on the right on the hand on the shelf is going to be some rat poison you want to go ahead and grab that that is important we're going to need that and now we're going to make our way upstairs past these chef there's no enforcer down here with this disguise apart from in the locker room so you don't need to worry about anyone help here as we come up the stairs as we head up the stairs here we're going to take this door here and work our way around and we're going to head into the kitchen there's going to be loads of like food scattered all over the all over the table you can only poison one of them so go ahead and poison the plate of food that's right here what that's going to do is Novikov's bodyguard is going to come around eventually come into this kitchen and he's going to take a sample of one of these uh, little hors d'oeuvres and he's going to get a little bit sick and he's going to be a little bit a bit ill and he's going to come into this kitchen um, not the kitchen but the bathroom and throw up it's not going to be in this one though it's going to be in the first bathroom so we're just going to go ahead and wait for him Novikov's cycle does take a while so for the benefit of the video we are going to skip to the point where he is actually on us so there we go after a couple of minutes he does enter the kitchen with Novikov and like I said we're going to watch this as well like I said he's going to take a sample of the hors d'oeuvres on the, on the table there he shouldn't be doing this shouldn't be allowed, allowed to do that his grubby hands all other food no wonder you got ill that's what rat poison will do for you. Let me guess. Four, four, so it's weird. I think the AI used to send him to the bin to the left. And that's quite funny how he reacted there. Because they corrected that to make sure NPCs prioritize uh, toilets. Because it was a big issue for Hitman 2 and a lot of the Hitman 3 life cycle. So I'm glad that's fixed now. And he heads straight to the bathroom. Just like he did in Hitman 1. So we'll go ahead and subdue him. And put him in the locker, well, the, or the closet, I should say. He drops a phone and a pistol on the floor. We're going to grab his disguise, and we're going to go ahead and call in Code 17. We have a code 17. I repeat, we have a code 17. Secure peacock, Cobra. Over. We need to head upstairs, but this door's not letting us because 47's got a phone in his hands, and we can't use the triangle button for some reason. But yeah, this, this sets off a target lockdown. So Victor and Dahlia is going to go to the safe room. And the safe room is just going to be in the back area, just beneath the attic. If you do have a remote explosive, you can take care of another challenge while you're here as well. Um, I should have probably done that during this video, but nevertheless, we'll do that in a separate video if, if need be. But yeah, just keeping that in mind. If you want to do that, that, I can't remember what the name, I think it's safe room explosion, I think it's called. But yeah, you can probably do that here at the same time as well. But we're already taking care of two challenges, so all we've got to do now is just wait in this room. Now, Novikov is going to be an enforcer to this disguise, so just keep that in mind. So, as he enters the room, it's going to crouch behind this desk to stop him from seeing us. And momentarily, Dahlia is making her way. How she's running in those shoes, I'll never know, but I admire her for it. So, yes, need to be a little bit patient here. She's going to stand right next to Viktor Novikov. There's going to be a couple of guards in the room as well. They're going to be searching around the area, but it does give us a chance to go over to the winch, release the winch. It will drop it on both their heads, and you'll get that sick drop challenge as well as watch your step challenge. And because they're both accident kills, even if their body is found, which they are, which they are obviously, um, we're still going to retain our silent assassin rating. As you can see, the bottom left next to the minimap, you'll see the two, see the green gun symbol which indicates we currently have Silent Assassin. And I'm going to finish off this mission as well, just to show you that you can get Silent Assassin. Also, the challenges that will pop up at the end as well. 
I forgot to finish off the mission at the end of the last video to show all the uh, the challenges popping up, but uh, it's a rare occasion. You don't have to finish the mission to actually get the challenges com completed on your in your game. As soon as they pop up, they save automatically. So you don't necessarily have to leave, but it is nice seeing all of them being checked off. So the assassin, the mastermind, the money man. So several challenges that I've covered so far in this series. There we go, nice. So that's going to wrap up this video. Let's get a confirmation of the Silent Assassin. Boom. Right. That's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out and you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. Hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. Also, a big shout out to my Psycho Assassin members. Arjal, Paul, Bedry, Mark Davis, Constantine Mueller and Wandering Wendy. Really do appreciate all the Psycho Assassin memberships. If you want to get your name read out in the credits though, feel free to join the membership and check it all out next to the subscribe button. Also, if you've missed any videos I've caught so far for Paris, there's a playlist right on the screen right now. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.